Good day, crypto miners. Mary here with another AMA today. Billionaire, the ultimate Web3 raffle and earn hub. So let's see if we have someone from Billionaire here. I'm looking for Radovan, Radek, and Oliver. If you're in here, guys, raise your hand and I will unmute you. Or ask to speak. Anyway, I hope you all had a good weekend. We finally got some rain here, which is good for the plants. So I see billionaire is here. I'm inviting you to speak, guys. Just, uh, answer yes. And we can have you up here on the stage in no time. There we go. Do we have Radovan, Radek, and Oliver? Hi, guys. There we have someone. Radovan, I see you. Hi there, you have uh, Oliver right here. Can you hear me? Hi, Oliver. Yes. Hello Welcome. there. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? You're good. I'm doing great. Thank you uh, very much for having us here today. We're really looking forward oh, to yeah. it. Oh, yeah. My pleasure. Yeah, it's going to be fun to hear about Billionaire. It's a cool name. Well, I'd like to take credit okay. for it, but I didn't come up with it. But uh, I'm sure I'm sure the guys are very thankful to hear that. <laughs> now we have Radovan up here as well, and <laughs> someone else. Yes, sir. Hello, Radovan. guys. Hi, hi. Welcome. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Thank you so much. And maybe we yeah, have I think Radek also... should be... Radek. Yeah, I think Radek should be joining us shortly. I admitted someone called Billions. Maybe that wasn't you then. Uh, the only the only billionaire should be the one that I'm speaking of right now. Anything else, if it's um, trying to imitate us, it's not real. So, uh, yeah, please. No, it was do, just um... a person. I thought I thought maybe it was Radic. But no, we'll no. we'll wait for Radic then, or should we start a little bit? Maybe you could tell me about the name before we start. That would be cool to know. How, how <laughs> for sure, was, we can jump into it. Going there, billionaire. Yeah, uh, originally it was the idea that uh, we want to mint pretty much billions from thin air to, to the people, but it connected to quite a lot of the other things. We have one billion tokens, exactly. There never will be more. And simply the connection between air and, and billions just, just makes sense, made sense to us, I guess. Uh... <laughs> that was cool, yeah. Making money from thin air. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it can be taken the wrong way, but, but at the same time, <laughs> you know, of course, crypto, you know, they, 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 they are minted currency that their projects can mint. And ultimately, yeah. you know, we want this project to go on and be such a success that the prizes that we give out, whether it's in crypto, digital assets, luxury items, they reach billions of dollars in value. So those billions worth Very of prizes good. have come from the thin air that is crypto. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah, but I'd like to point out that we, we give information and education about the projects that we host here. So no financial advice, guys, yes. whatsoever. So do your own research. But yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I, I like when you have a good uh, confidence. Confident. So uh, I, I don't see Radek yet. I think we can we can start. I think you can oh, yeah, join us shortly. Yeah, you do. Rado. Right? Yeah, that should be. There he is. All right, welcome up on stage, Radek. It's connecting. I hope he's on his phone. I think he should be, yeah. You no, know, Twitter has this issue that you, you have to be on your phone if you want to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, yeah, it automatically starts with mute on, so maybe he's muted, I don't know. No, he's still connecting. Oh, okay. Maybe there's an issue with the connection. 
Well, we we will have you up soon, Radek. Uh, maybe you have to leave and come back. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think you left now. <laughs> See if it goes. Right. Let's, <laughs> let's jump into it. <laughs> to not keep people waiting. Yeah, all right. So, uh, welcome everyone to Crypto Miners. My name is Mary, and we have today with us three guys from Billionaire. Billionaire. How do you want to pronounce that? Billionaire. Yeah, billionaire. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the ultimate Web three raffle and earn hub, and we're gonna learn what that really means then today. But first, guys, tell me about your team, yourself a little bit, uh, and how how did you meet, and when was it? Yeah, hey guys, I'm finally here. Sorry for my small delay. <laughs> ah, here he is. But yeah, we can start right now. Hey, Radek, welcome. All right, I will start with the introduction. Uh, we started working on this project around 18 months ago, I would say, 19 almost. And uh, we started with uh, quite a simple idea, and that was to uh, build something that's yeah not in the web free space in general. And uh, we were always interested in raffles and the, in the tech behind it and what uh, other projects in the web to build before. Uh, such as Omaze and quite quite a lot of the UK ones and and etc. And uh, it started with quite a quite a simple idea, uh, but uh, as we pretty much yeah uh, dipped our our heads into it more and more, uh, it started to um, build itself to to quite an ecosystem, I would say, uh, because simply by adding more and more team members and advisors and, and just uh, figuring out what the best and final idea in the raffle space could be, we ended up with an ecosystem which is quite quite complex, I would say. <laughs> uh, so me and Radek, we have a lot of technical background. Uh, mm -hmm. We have other businesses at the moment as well, uh, which uh, we left to the other management that we are full-time head to in, in Web3 right now. And we surrounded ourselves with, uh, I think, one of the best in the in the industry, uh, not only when it comes to marketing here with Oli, with Che, with Ryan and, and, and the rest of the guys, but on the DevSam team as well. Uh, we, I would say, I like to say that we uh, stole some of the best researcher guys when it comes to security and, and that case, for example, and, and build a team around those to build such solutions that uh, pretty much give us the option to uh, bring something new, but secure at the same time to the market. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really exciting. Tomorrow we are finally launching the, the pre-sale, uh, which uh, again, not a financial advice, so I won't speak about that uh, too much, but uh, I'm a super product centric guy. So uh, when it comes to the product itself, you will definitely have more time to, to hear me speaking about uh, the ecosystem as a whole. Great. Yeah, of course, we can mention that the pre sale is on tomorrow. It's, um, yeah, it, it's for everyone or is it a whitelist only? So we closed uh, two rounds already, a strategic round and a, and a seed round already uh, with uh, okay. some ventures and, and uh, and private equity management companies. And right now we are giving the option to, to chip in to pretty much everybody. We are opening it to, to public and uh, the, the whole pre-sale is structured in 10 phases. So pretty much the sooner you, you get in, the, uh, the better value you get. But uh, uh, yeah, pretty much we can believe that we are already here because uh, we've spent uh, majority of the year uh, on the tech solution, we were deep in the product itself, developing and, and creating testing. And uh, right now, it's uh, it's quite a relief that we are getting getting so close. <laughs> and yeah, hard, lots of hard work. Mary, just just on that note, can I can I just mention mention something sort of security based? Um, of course, yes, our free sale goes live tomorrow. And I just, I'd just like to mention to your community, um, hopefully we can, we can share the links um, uh, after, after the session. Um, as always happens with any token launch, project launch, IDO, um, the scams are coming out, the fake accounts, the fake billionaire, mm -hmm. official accounts pages here, there and everywhere with token addresses and stuff. So please, 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 guys, 
as Mary said at the beginning, do your own research, of course. But, you know, we will provide the, the official links anyway. Just make 100% sure you are dealing with, with us, with the real billionaire, uh, before you start investigating any kind of investment or token purchase, anything like that. Um, it happens with every every project launch. We all know that. But, um, but yeah, please, please do just just make sure it's, uh, it's the real thing before you, um, before you get involved. Yeah, the closer yeah, we are getting, important. the more trade groups and, and, and DM senders and, and these kind of people just uh, uh, pull up, you know. So uh, we just want to make sure to, to keep the, the users safe. So, yeah, guys, that's all I said, please. <laughs> We've all lost some, uh, or we all funded some scammers, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, but absolutely. Let, let's hope it's over. <laughs> you learn the hard way and then you... You know you what do. you're doing, hopefully. You do. They're, they're clever, though, so just be very careful, guys. Always check. I always check uh, for in a group that it's an admin. It's a real admin who posted the, mm -hmm. the link. Yeah. Because sure. so, sometimes people pose as admins and send you messages and pose as rows. If they don't mm -hmm. have this admin sign on the right, it's not the real admin. Absolutely. Yeah, we are we are able to keep it clean in our group, of course, in our official groups. Uh, we are really strict, of course, there, and the mods are doing their like best job, I think. But when it comes to fake groups that are created and, and users are getting invited, etc., it's uh, of course yeah. hard to track everything. Yeah, everyone is. Uh, well, you have to look out for yourself, guys. For sure. sure. You're responsible for your own investment. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Radek, you just uh, joined us. Do you want to present yourself a little bit? Radek, are you there? Are you on mute? He's on mute. He's on mute. Oh, yeah. No, he's, he's trying to speak, but we can't hear speak. you. Right. Maybe you have to leave and come back on, on, again. On my phone, mm -hmm. he has a mute signal, like mute symbol next to his uh, next to speaker. I think he's on mute. Yeah, he's trying to unmute though, but it, it maybe jumps on to mute right away. So leave and come back, Radek. We'll, mm -hmm. okay. we'll be here waiting for you. <laughs> Radovan, did you want to say something about yourself? I think I structured it uh, in the uh, in the beginning. <laughs> Because uh, we are really passionate about the space, and uh, I don't think I have much to add. Uh, as uh, the only track record that we had behind us, pretty much, you know, all the other stuff is uh, uh, is a successful track record, which is always nice. But uh, people are here for for billionaire and not for the other businesses we've built. So, <laughs> uh, okay, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. L let's move on then. So, so yes, in a nutshell. Uh, what is billionaire? Who is it for, and and why? All right. Um, as I've mentioned before, the core of uh, the product, core of billionaire, is uh, an ecosystem which is based around raffles. Uh, there's games and tier systems and, and deflation models, which I'll speak more about. But originally, uh, thinking about the the platform itself. Uh, and being the gaming platform as it is, uh, it should have only worked and uh, been built for, for a, a specific user, like the end user, uh, the gamer. But what we found in the, in the solution that we are capable of doing is that we can just simply invite other communities and let them build uh, their own raffles, their own games onto the platform and giving them additional means to, to build communities, to engage with their communities, to give them additional means to fundraise as well. And with that, uh, everything bloated itself like 10 times because the raffle ecosystem that we've built uh, is uh, as complex as it can get. Uh, we are able to give out uh, physical prizes, digital prizes, assets, experiences as well. Uh, with that, you have uh, the options to play games through which you can earn additional uh, tickets, for example, and etc. And uh, all of this is powered by the billionaire token, uh, which gives you uh, the 
options and the and the, uh, the very much the access to the features such as uh, climbing the tier systems, which gives you additional uh, uh, chances to and uh, and multipliers to to win in the rifles and in the games. Uh, it gives you uh, bonus APY on your staking. You can stake and be a part of uh, the revenue and be receiving part of the revenue uh, what the platform collects. And uh, all of this as well encompassed in a deflationary system where we are burning uh, a big portion of uh, uh, the uh, fees and in the, in the income itself what the platform generates and therefore deflating the, the amount of tokens that we have. So uh, it is for pretty much everyone who wishes to uh, spend their time one, on one side, uh, engaged and uh, being playful and having fun while playing, but at the same time giving them options to earn more than a traditional play-to-earn uh, game or, or just simply uh, a platform that would be, let's say, <laughs> too square, too simple. And as we are able to connect uh, many other communities together, uh, giving them the means to, to engage in those. So... Uh, if it would be only uh, on our side, let's say, that we would be the central entity that is creating everything, uh, we would feel that uh, it would definitely not be such a great product as it, as it uh, is right now currently, that we are able to really put the whole Web3 community together and, and give them uh, more means to engage, more means to earn and, uh, and fundraise for, for the project. So Quite exciting. <laughs> so, so you can say that you you are providing the technology for yourself, for your own project, and for also other communities and other projects to do these kind of raffles. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a view uh, how to look at it because everybody will be very much pointing back to the billionaire platform, uh, but we will be giving them the space to have their own raffles and and engage their own communities. So we are actually creating a hub where all these communities can meet in the future. Uh, they will be having uh, governance abilities as well with uh, and forums and, and many other things. And uh, it's just a, just a great thing because uh, right now, uh, quite a lot of uh, community building uh, services and, and uh, projects uh, exist in this space so when it comes to your social media presence building, I would say, you know, Zeely, you know, Galaxy and, and, and projects like this. But uh, we are taking the, the other route and we are uh, creating uh, additional means to, to engage their community, not only on socials, but through incentivizing purchases and, and transactions and, and uh, pretty much uh, filling the spot that uh, wasn't ever filled in this space. So, so let's talk about the because something similar. Other, other, there are other big projects out there that does similar things. I think I mm -hmm. might be wrong, mm -hmm. but um, are you doing your own technology about this, or hundred percent, or are you are you taking help from from others as well? No, no, no. Everything is built from scratch to make it hundred percent secure. Uh, all the rifles will be on chain. All the core technology uh, will be on chain. Mm -hmm. So uh, therefore, we are making sure that we can scale and help, help the project scale uh, with not looking at the number of, of the project and still keeping the same security. This is really crucial for us. And uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so so how, how is the, the security or, or the fairness maybe we can talk about? Like if, if you have a raffle, how can I be sure that it's random or can mm -hmm. I, can I choose, can I make some choices as a raffle owner or <laughs> project owner? No, no, no. Uh, so that's something that, uh, uh, is, as I mentioned, like super crucial for us. And, uh, when it comes to the decision-making, uh, all the decision-making is again, done on chain. Uh, we are randomizing the numbers through, uh, two suppliers, one of which is chain link. Uh, the second one is in my second brain, brain which I've put into a shelf somewhere. But uh, uh, the thing is that uh, everyone can check the, the, the smart contract that's not changing in the raffles, uh, is able to, to check the, the 
fairness and the provability of the fairness on chain. And once the selection is being done, uh, uh, a unique hash is created as well. And, and people can simply look through how the logic uh, decision was made and be sure that it wasn't uh, uh, it wasn't pretty much done anything to it. So uh, that's the same thing with everything else uh, on, on the platform, uh, that everything is trustless, pretty much. And uh, we are able to, to show all the users how these decisions were uh, made. Okay, very good. So so how will you tell the, the projects that your product is uh, as good as or better as the others out there? How will you make them choose you? Well, it's uh, quite simple for us because uh, we are encompass an ecosystem that has pretty much zero friction to onboard anyone. We already have uh, quite a lot of interest from big projects, big, big name projects. We're in touch with Everstake, uh, Firestarter and many more, uh, which are pretty much ready to onboard their communities onto, onto the platform itself. And it's quite quite easy, uh, simply because we are no, not charging the projects anything, and we are complex enough to to be to be interesting to to pretty much anyone in the space. Um, uh, we are easily giving giving more uh, entertainment and more additional token utility in one for the projects than any other project is doing at the moment in the space. Okay, good. So, so when you say you don't charge anything for the product, how how do you earn your money then? How do you get mm -hmm. sure. money? Sure. So, it is structured. Uh, one of the part is uh, the fee structure itself. Of course, we are charging small fees on transactions, but the main thing is that uh, each raffle has its own so-called overcollection. Uh, let's say a project chooses uh, a, a raffle uh, cost or price for the price itself and we are over collecting uh, a couple of tens percent over over that let's say we are raffling for 100 bucks uh, we would be collecting 130 so uh, in this way we are able to uh, engage the token buyback system and the deflationary system uh, that way we are able to burn not only our tokens but the project's tokens as well and we are able to uh, refresh and and put back into into the staking treasury and as well receive a part that will be for covering the marketing the ops and the development and etc so it's pretty much no friction onboarding and that's uh, pretty much every like for us this is the end goal not only for the projects but for the people as well uh, slowly moving from just onboarding web3 users to onboarding web2 users as well and uh, that's the end goal, pretty much. Very nice. Good answers. I, I like you have everything thought out. It seems. <laughs> Thank you. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, let's talk about the token then that's that's coming tomorrow. It's the, the pre-launch or pre-sale of, mm -hmm. of the token. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's called uh, Airb. Airb. Yeah, Airb. So the Airb token... Uh, where does it come in to play and how is it going to be used within the, the ecosystem of the, this project? Mm -hmm. Sure. So as I mentioned, everything is powered by it pretty much. And uh, I'll just uh, try to mention as many features as I can from the top of my head when it comes to the utility, because uh, there are uh, quite many, to be frank. Um, simply starting is uh, that you will receive pretty much lower fees for uh, for everything, for playing, for raffling, for purchasing NFT tickets and etc. But uh, the core of the thing is the tier system itself, which uh, connects everything. And you are able to uh, climb your tier through holding additional tokens, as it is, let's say, standard in, in quite a lot of projects that we will be incentivizing uh, users to, to hold as, as much as they can for uh, high tiers and through uh, that they will receive a lot of bonuses for example raffle multipliers so if i would have a diamond tier let's say uh, of my profile uh, my raffle entries would be almost doubled for example uh, if i if i choose to to raffle for a tesla i would say i would have definitely higher chances while having a, a higher 
uh, tier uh, account than uh, I would be if I would be only uh, a starting starting one. Uh, but of course, to, to make everything leveled, uh, we are limiting the token entries, uh, sorry, the ticket entries into the raffles. So it's not just simply pay to win uh, that we are leveling the scores and uh, leveling the field pretty much. Uh, additional features for sure and utilities are, are the staking, as I mentioned, as uh, you will be receiving uh, a part of the uh, platform revenue uh, back into uh, like for the token holders and stakers uh, in the tokens. And uh, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. And uh, forgot to mention the, the buybacks and the deflationary features, of course, uh, which is uh, a big part of the, of the whole thing as well, because uh, you not only want to earn through, through gaming, raffling and, and staking, but uh, as we are, uh, burning a massive portion of, of uh, all the all the transactions or the over collections and etc uh, we are always putting uh, a high uh, pressure on, on the on the on the token itself uh, we are trying to keep the the price as stable and, and rising as much as we can through these aggressive uh, burns pretty much to keep the to keep it pretty much in the in a constant shortage i would say that's yeah pretty much taken care all of right that. so <laughs> Uh, let, let's let's make an example. Let's say I have a project, um, the Mary token is mm -hmm. coming to you, and and we want to make a raffle. Like you said, let's let's have a Tesla as the number one prize, okay? Mm -hmm. Because everyone wants a Tesla, it seems. So, <laughs> <laughs> and second prize is a trip to Sweden. No, but uh, how how do I do? I mean, if I have. A, I need to have a special amount of a specific amount of uh, of tokens to be able to to make a raffle at your platform or can I can I have none that's the first question in the in the first stage we will be really f like onboarding uh, like completely frictionless so uh, the project can just come and host the raffles without uh, holding any of the tokens uh, we are rolling this this feature uh, soon because already we have partners that are uh, in pretty much from the day one, and we don't want to put these let's say rules onto them as they are one of the key key factors of making it a success in the beginning. Uh, mm -hmm. But we will be rolling this out in the in the near future, of course, to uh, just simply I don't want to say limit the amount of of communities, but uh, sorting I would say at least a bit that. Uh, it's just not overhauled when, from what you can see, for example, in some of these like uh, social building and community building building platforms. Um, mm -hmm. Can that also be like negoti negotiable? Then, if if I come as a really big project, let's say Binance come to you or some other big ones and <laughs> want to make a raffle. And they, they don't want to buy your tokens, but they are good for for you, for your brand. Um, of course. Uh, would you then change the settings for them? Or the... <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, we we have to keep everything level. Uh, of course, mentioning Binance is a, is a two-edged sword because uh, uh, while collaborating in Binance with Binance already, as we are a part of their uh, Kickstarter uh, program, and we are uh, mm -hmm. getting accelerated by them. Uh, which is, of course, uh, just yeah, huge and amazing news for us. Uh, but yeah. simply, we we have to be uh, true to all all the users, and we have to be fair. So, uh, when speaking about Binance, but I mean that is also good for for me as a token mm -hmm. holder. If I, I hold your tokens and yes. and and you get the name out there, wi widely and and broad, like in with big projects, that's mm -hmm. going to be good for my. For me as well as just an investor, right? For sure, hopefully. For sure, yeah, I totally agree. But no we, we, we cannot <laughs> we cannot make exceptions. We can, uh, we just cannot cannot pick and select the projects that we are giving uh, like specific rules and specific okay. uh, uh, approaches. Pretty much, I think to... you should. <laughs> As business. <laughs> <laughs> well, the middle ones will be set and not changing. Uh, we. We just have to have to keep the, yeah, the right. system system steady. <laughs> <laughs> you do as you should, but I mean, you are. It is a company behind this, or is it just uh, 
community driven. Yeah, there is a company behind this, of course. Yeah, so you need to make some some profit and and like well, but the pay fact, your like, we are, workers. Yeah, of course, we uh, are and will be making uh, profit from those standard, uh, I would say, rules that are set up. Uh, to, to everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I just wanted to mention that we wouldn't be making exceptions uh, with, uh, we would be flabbergasted by a, by a huge project that would come to us and, and try to try to negotiate some unfair deal that would be unfair to all the other smaller projects that are on, uh, on the platform. Of course, this is a total, total complete no-go for us. Uh, we are not there just for the biggest ones, but we are there for the community as a whole. And we need to be true to, to all of them. So that's, that's so it's the same fees for everyone. I mean, the big ones maybe they should pay more than. To... <laughs> <laughs> you can go that way too. Thanks the reach, of course. Thanks the reach. <laughs> uh, well, I'm sure you have it covered. Uh, you can do whatever you want with, with your product. So it's just uh, some thoughts I had. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, so the merit token is there, and uh, mm -hmm. let's say it's after you said that. We need to buy some some you haven't figured out how much yet i need to to hold then do i need to stake it is that going to be like it oh uh, yeah or can it, i buy it and make a raffle and then sell it all again you or? you will you will have to stake certain tokens per uh per one raffle that you will be uh, actively actively uh, holding pretty much just so there is uh, some incentive to to buy and stake uh, but that will be only for the for the uh, time that the, the rifle is on the platform itself. It's okay. not that you have to commit for, I don't know, a year of staking or something. Uh, so it's not one, some percentage of, of that, what I stake is, yeah, yeah, isn't exactly. going to get burned or something like that? Uh, when it comes to burning, we are back into the over collections uh, on, the, okay. on the rifles, uh, but uh, it is uh, to, to have the rifles, uh, it is just a simple incentive that we Need to make sure that uh, the project is uh, is involved enough to to at least stake a certain amount of tokens during the raffle happening. I would say, and uh, that's all. There's a percentage wise, which I cannot uh, cannot recall right now, but uh, uh, I think it uh, makes sense. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, from the from the winnings you do with the company, hopefully, will some of it go back to the like the the OGs, the holders who has been there for you all the time from the beginning or something like that? Or is that going to be... Yeah, as I mentioned, uh, the, the stakers will receive a real yield uh, API per much and they will be uh, participating in, in receiving part of the pretty much uh, quite a quite a big part of the of the revenue uh, okay. that, that, the, that the project generates. So uh, we are building it as uh, as sustainable as we can with with uh, everything. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. And then we have the the raffle. Let's mm -hmm. say someone mm -hmm. wins then the Tesla and the trip to Sweden. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and then how will they get that? Who is responsible for for giving the right person? The winnings. Mm -hmm. Right. So we have, uh, I think we are speaking about two things, which I would like to just separate from the beginning. Uh, mm -hmm. Firstly, uh, when it comes to physical raffles and experience, uh, physical prizes more so, and experiences and all this, uh, we are the issuers of those raffles initially and only. Uh, we have uh, logistic uh, systems in place, uh, legal systems in place, where we are able to give out these in the majority of the world, uh, from from physical to, to experiences as well, and uh, a back office team pretty much that can handle uh, all these transactions because uh, uh, it will be simply uh, quite a quite a system to to uh, give, of course, experiences and physical prizes to to people globally. And we are starting with that only on our own. Uh, the projects that are coming to the platform and having their own raffles, in the beginning, they will be only able to have uh, digital prizes that you are able to somehow at least lock in a smart contract. And that's something that we are starting with, of course, to make everything uh, frictionless and, and uh, fair and provably safe as well. Uh, 
simply that's the the uh, only only way that we are able to assure that so uh, a project comes and uh, can have a rifle for an nft for a bunch of tokens for like a pre-sale allocation for example uh, we will have a lot of on-chain connections uh, that for example if you join a certain pre-sale or join, join a certain nft mint or or, or something like that you automatically, for example, would uh, receive uh, FT ticket into into a specific raffle. You would be eligible to win additional prizes and et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of the things uh, are uh, are built on top of this pretty much functionality on this mentality, I would say. And on the other side, we are the billionaire. We are able to not only give out our own digital assets and prizes, um, out there, uh, collecting big, big uh, budget NFTs, uh, making uh, raffles for uh, big ticket coins and, and tokens. Uh, uh, but as well, we are able to to cover those uh, physical and experience ones. After we are done from phase one, let's say, uh, which uh, could be around like Q2 next year, uh, we should be able to give these options to some of the bigger partners as well. And that's maybe something that you wanted to touch on uh, before uh, when it comes to giving projects uh, like specific uh, rules and setups uh, for the bigger ones, for those who would be interested, uh, they will be able to uh, have physical rifles as well, which we would handle for them pretty much. But that's really the only, only, uh, uh, I would say change or or uh, difference. I would say uh, between mm-hmm. between the let's say the classic smaller ones, uh, which they have all the options with the digital prizes, to the bigger ones that would be interested to have their own physical and experience raffles as well. But uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So is it uh, when the raffle starts, do you like decide then how many tickets and how much every ticket costs? Is it a preset amount of tickets? Mm -hmm. And what happens if it's filled filled so fast? Do you do extra tickets then? Or what happens if it doesn't fill at all? Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, there's always a, a time limit on the raffle. So if it does not fill we are refunding refunding the the tickets that's simply the 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 most fair way to to handle things but when it comes to the the rules and the behavior of tickets and everything uh i'll try to sum everything up uh one ticket will always equal one dollar so uh we are just big friends with stable coins and we will be pretty much (laughs) pegging everything together so one ticket will be always uh one dollar and uh, the price uh, of the of the price itself will be always set up up front. Uh, it will be dictated by the by the real price uh, of of uh, uh, what's being collected. And on top of that, uh, we will be over collecting the the amount that I mentioned before. So uh, it's always uh, set up as a as a static. Uh, end goal, I would say, which cannot be changed and cannot be uh, made bigger. So if there would be a, a hugely anticipated raffle by Everstake, which uh, I don't know, 20,000 users would like to join, join but there's only 50,000 tickets, it's going to happen that it will be pretty much raffled for in 30 minutes. Uh, but uh, we cannot uh, issue more tickets and more like let's say buffer or or bigger buffer for the collection because that again wouldn't be wouldn't be fair to uh to uh the people that are uh going into into the raffle itself uh because they will be transparently seeing uh what is the final amount of uh, the tickets necessary to raffle for the prize and and uh uh, that's the yeah, and they will be only collecting the fair, uh, fair value. Uh, so we are not over collecting like tens and tens uh, percent extra or even even uh, uh, even more. Because if if you look at some of the raffle projects that uh, that exist originally in in Web two, uh, when it comes to Omaze, when it comes to a lot of them, they are over collecting. Uh, like numerous times above the the, the price itself, 
uh, for example, like 10, 15, 20x pretty much of the real price of the of the winning item. And uh, to keep the, the liquidity as high as we can and the action as high as we can, the engagement and, and the entertainment itself, and to make everything as fair as possible, uh, we are only collecting a couple of percent above and uh, be, to be able to sustain, to, to give back to the users and to have as many raffles as we can. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're going to be transparent and about yep, these completely stuff. Okay. Transparency. Is... And and maybe the, <laughs> I, I got a good question here from Crypto Preacher. I see you're in here, Crypto Preacher, uh, but I'm going to read your question. It's that you wrote on Twitter, and it's uh, what's advantage advantages of blockchain in chance based gaming. <laughs> A gazillion ones. <laughs> I think I can, I can, I can let uh, Oli speak for a while if he wants, but uh, this is something that we are like hugely passionate about. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to take this one. I mean, actually, there, there are a gazillion, but it, it's fairly short and sweet. Um, blockchain, it's, it, it is by its very nature um, transparent. Um, so it removes any doubts, it removes any questions that um, a player, a user might have as to um, the fairness behind uh, a raffle or a game or a contest that they've entered. Um, it's, um, of course, as we know, it's, it's trustless. It's, it, you, you can, you can um, search for the source of, of, of any transaction to make sure um, everything is, um, is legit. Um, and, and of course, um, the technology itself is, is, is only developing further and more and more. And so it's going to become even more valuable um, as time goes by. Um, and for me personally, it's, it's where China Space Gaming should be. Um, there is no centralized entity control, controlling or potentially controlling any outcomes. Um, you know, as, as Radovan mentioned earlier, we, we have some um, ra like random number generation software involved that is going to guarantee provable fairness across all of our raffles and contests. Um, and yeah, it is, it, it's, I mean, blockchain was the future a few years ago. It's now the present and it is the <laughs> present and the future of chance based gaming. Simple as that. Um, yeah. there's, there's no better place for it to be. Very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, I I got another good question here, and that is, how how has the response been to the launch of billionaires raffles? Is there a new raffle being introduced soon, and and which one is it? What what can you win? So we were testing the the platform and the solution from January this year. Uh, we had multiple of them, climbing prizes. Uh, we were just uh, giving out quite a quite a big tickets in the end to to battle test the solution. So we had around, I think, three and a half thousand paying users uh, in the in the raffle ecosystem only through our community. And um, right now we closed all the raffles uh, simply to put all the attention into into the pre-sale and to and to focus our community on one thing, and that's uh, to to pretty much move out of this to launch the product as uh, soon as we can. And uh, you can definitely expect. Uh, Quite a quite a huge ones uh, because we uh, decided to to give away uh, quite a big portion of the of the pre-sale amount into into prizes and uh, right after uh, the pre-sale is done we'll be raffling for uh, as you already mentioned everybody loves Tesla so we are uh, raffling for uh, a fully packed Model S uh, we'll be uh, raffling for uh, 100k of uh, Herbie tokens as well and. 10 different prizes per each phase in the collection amount of almost uh, 400k. So uh, it's uh, quite damn exciting. And you can actually get nice. free, free NFT tickets uh, just by uh, chipping in, just by uh, joining us on the, our journey, uh, following the pre-sale and, and joining the pre-sale itself. And uh, in the end, uh, you of course will be favored because the sooner you might join the, the the better price for token you get and the more tickets you can receive so uh, in the end you can raffle for all of these different prizes that you that you wish for yeah nice so now it's the focus on the pre-sale but right after pre-sale or the launch when is the launch then when the pre-sale has finished or yeah exactly uh, it will be everything will be released at once uh, we will be 
the the time when we uh, end the pre-sale, uh, we will open the platform. Users will be able to claim their tokens. They will be able to claim their tickets. Uh, the raffles will be created so they can uh, uh, select w into which raffle uh, they would like to take their chances to, to win the big prizes. Uh, they will be uh, directly able to, to stake their tokens and uh, a lot more play the first games and an extra. So all the, all the core functionality will be, will be released at the launch date because simply we can't uh, let users wait uh, longer any than that. And uh, we are making everything that we can to initially hold and uh, let the price uh, rise as well because we'll be giving out uh, a lot of staking options uh, the ref, as I mentioned, and we'll be from day one incentivizing uh, additional users to, to uh, chip in the ecosystem itself. Uh, the partnership will be uh, announced and, and started to, to onboard other communities, not just our community onto the platform. And we'll be uh, do, doing everything in our power to, to keep the ecosystem uh, running uh, better than ever, pretty much. Okay, cool. So, so can I take part with only one dollar? Yeah, yeah. Win like a big uh, prize, or, or yeah. is it like you will receive uh, one free NFT ticket per, I think, thousand, uh, one thousand RB purchased, uh, which is I think around thirty, thirty bucks at the moment. Uh, but uh, you can you can claim and gain additional additional NFT tickets through some of the giveaway campaigns, the referral campaigns, and et cetera, that's running on the sidetrack, of course, to uh, keep the engagement as high as we can. And um, Oh, so you can't buy it now for... Nah, that's you the thing. To... That's the thing. Ah, okay, okay. You that's will only be able to, to receive these tickets uh, from the pre-sale itself because you are pretty much receiving them for, for free right now. And after we launch the platform, uh, only the users that were a part of the pre-sale will be able to raffle for the first big prizes. So uh, you won't have a chance after that pretty much to, to uh, try to win those pretty much after, after the pre-sale ended. So if you want to have a chance okay. to, to win the Teslas and win the Rolexes and all that and, uh, and stuff like that, uh, you, you have to join the community right now pretty much. So what if you win a Tesla and you don't have a driving license? Just a weird, weird question that popped up in my head. Can I get the money instead? Yeah. Uh, so there's always, always additional, additional means. Uh, and we have to, of course, cover everything uh, uh, legally. Uh, we are able yeah, to, okay. to deliver in majority of the world. But, uh, for example, if uh, uh, your address, you would be living in a... I would say a war conflict where it would be really hard for, for the company to deliver or or uh, something that, or Jesus, North Korea maybe. <laughs> I'm of course just kidding, but uh, you would always have the have the chance to to claim uh, to claim uh, cash instead of the price itself. Okay, that's good. So uh, if I if I go on your website now and I see the pre-sale is. Uh... In one day, four hours, 10 minutes and 55 mm -hmm. seconds mm -hmm. going down, of course. Uh, so there is also join wait list. It's not a white list, it's a wait list. Mm -hmm. what, does that, what does that mean? That's correct. Um, we are just updating uh, the users that are interested to receive receive uh, update emails through, through that. But uh, as I mentioned before, we are not going the, the, the white list way itself. Uh, we are opening uh, the pre-sale to, uh, to the public and therefore we don't want to limit anyone who, for example, missed the opportunity uh, originally. Uh, so, uh, so can anyone participate or is there a minimum buy, a maximum buy on the pre-sale? And, and... Yeah, anyone can yeah, per participate. Uh, the only thing, of course, that we are limiting some of the jurisdictions that we are just simply not able to uh, to cover uh, legally. Of course, there are workarounds which uh, we cannot fight against. Uh, I guess uh, standard, you know the deal. But uh, anyone can can join join the join the journey. Okay. So so what's the hard cap? Uh, we are looking at seventeen and a half uh, at the moment, uh, but we will be limiting each phase uh, by time as we go as we go on. So. 
uh, we are uh, not expecting to to fill the full uh, hard cap, but for us it's a it's an additional mean uh, to uh, deflate and and to already work with the token because we'll be burning all the tokens that will be not uh, uh, purchased so. and, and participated in the pre-sale itself. So origin already from the start it will be uh, potential burning uh, a portion of the of the allocation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's not going to be like vested or something like that. Yeah, uh, you will be able to claim twenty percent of the tokens uh, at the moment of launch, and the rest mm-hmm. is uh, uh, locked for uh, or uh, vested for four months uh, linearly. So every month you will be able to to claim additional twenty percent of the of okay. the of the amount, and directly after. Um, Claiming the first initial twenty percent, you will be able to uh, uh, come in the first uh, staking pools that will be opened to, uh, yeah, again make even uh, higher potential returns. Mm-hmm. Well, it's so interesting. I have so many questions, but I, I want to <laughs> let some people in the audience also ask sure. questions. So. Uh, <laughs> Let's bring up some, shall we? And then For we'll sure. Talk a little bit after. Maybe you have to leave in ten minutes. I don't know. Do you have a tight schedule or? Uh, yeah, of course, super tight before launch. But uh, I guess we can definitely spend a little bit more time here. It's all good. Um, uh, I'm unmuting Julian and Josh. Let's see who comes up first. There we have Josh. Hello, Josh. Yeah, my question is, what is the amount of staking rewards that an app holder will get when he provides liquidity to any of the app decks that's the centralized exchange? Mm-hmm. I guess maybe we can... Can you, can you Julian, maybe? Yeah. Perfect. Got a little bit of background noise. Yeah, there, I did yeah. That. Sorry. <laughs> no worries, no worries. So, uh, yeah, uh, liquidity-wise, of course, uh, that will be pretty much the, the true the true staking rewards, as, as you would expect usually. But uh, when it comes to the other pools that we'll be having, uh, we will be unlocking 10 additional 10 million additional tokens each month for, for the for the... 10 month period to, to give additional um, bonuses and rewards for the ones that will be part of the staking pools. And those will be subject to the percentages that uh, you can you can find in the in the documents. And uh, the, during that time, we'll be switching to the real yield uh, staking. So the majority of the of the rewards that will be, I would say, interesting uh, will be the ones uh, that will be uh, the subject to uh, taking part of the uh, uh, platform uh, income pretty much um okay so another thing is from the roadmap how successful are you in the development of other features that could actually attract more people into the platform thank you mm-hmm. for sure yeah uh, as i mentioned already uh, at the, the date of the of the launch uh, we will have majority of the initial features that we'll be able to onboard uh, quite a lot of uh, par- partners and communities with. And we'll be simply rolling out more and more uh, pretty much each month after that. We'll be, by the end of the year, we should be able to, to onboard uh, the first uh, big projects to have the uh, co-community raffles. Uh, we'll be implementing more games into, into the platform. And uh, we will be striving to uh, focus on web two users as well. Uh, of course, it's a big deal security wise when it comes to custodial wallets and everything. Uh, but we'll be able to soon integrate even these features to uh, cross uh, the barrier that's pretty much there in front of us and to uh, onboard really any user uh, potentially and giving them uh, the features that uh, are outlined in in the uh, in the roadmap and in what I was speaking about, pretty much. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. 
Thank you for a beautiful Thank you, question. Julian. <laughs> Lots of noise going on back around there. So <laughs> let's have Josh up here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. Thank you, Mary, for uh, the opportunity. <clears throat> okay, so my question now is about, um, you know, when we look at uh, the non-crypto users that are into gaming now, the, um, how do you guys plan to sensitize, sensitize them about your projects, to bring them into your projects as per when they want to engage on gaming on your platform? How do you plan to sensitize the non-crypto users that are into gaming? I'm not sure if I understood to be quite frank. Yeah, I didn't quite catch that. Can you uh, just right. repeat that again a bit slower? All right, let me reframe it. Uh, what I mean is that now we have many non-crypto users that, that play games for fun. So what's your plan in bringing them to your project to make them aware of your project? So that's the question. Okay, well, the proposition is quite quite simple because the time that you spend uh, playing Candy Crush on the toilet you can play a uh, similar type of games on, on billionaire and on the on the end pretty much uh, be uh, subject to to receive rewards uh, monetary and, and and physical experiences and uh, be a part of the be a part of a community and uh, be able to decide which uh, games which new games you would like to have on the platform through the gover governance program and etc so it's giving a whole new dimension to to all these like casual casual players because the uh, the unique selling point there is uh, quite simple. They can uh, play uh, pretty much the same slash like similar thing that they are usually playing, but uh, they are able to uh, to gain and, and earn uh, while doing so. So, uh, who would want that, of course? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the the question is that how do you plan to um, bring them into crypto space, like the non-crypto users. How do you mm -hmm. plan to onboard them in crypto space? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, as I mentioned before, uh, one of the one of the things that we are striving for is to be able to to onboard those, and that's simply through uh, other means to authenticate, to log in, uh, to hold uh, their uh, wallets as well through uh, custodial wallet systems, and uh, to uh, bring initial means of, of uh, payment providers, which we are already uh, building with. So uh, we will be creating, again, frictionless environment for even a completely non-web-free user to come into the platform, log in, create their account, uh, start playing, either invest or not, and, uh, and be in the ecosystem without anyhow touching any MetaMask, any... Uh, any other uh, providers uh, buying any any ledgers or 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 any any hardware wallets and uh, pretty much keeping keeping themselves in the in the space that they are used to and uh, not uh, uh, like being pushed to to learn about uh, digital or, or or hardware wallets or anything. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Thank you for the response. So the last one is that um, among the games that will be available on your platform, will there be some kind of like a multiplayer game whereby we can play with, compete with other gamers on the platform? It be, I think it will be more interesting and fun that way. If you can play with others? Or, I, I sorry, I really don't understand what. Yes, yes, like a multiplayer, something like a multiplayer Multiplayer, yeah, if you can. Yeah, right. Well yeah, yeah. Uh, so mm, when it comes to the chance-based ones, uh, we are building it more of a competitor or or uh, championship uh, uh, way. So it will be uh, mo mostly and mainly uh, one v one. So one versus one player. Uh, you will be able to to play uh, a lot of the chance chance games game uh, chance-based games uh, uh, like that uh, initially to. Uh, challenge other users to to uh, play against. Uh, we are right now not uh, uh, actively, uh, let's say, working towards bringing a full multiplayer solution to to the space. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I got the answer now. So thank you. Thank you, you Josh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have one last person up. Is it okay with you guys to have one last question? For sure. X Marv. X Marvel, sorry. Go ahead. Hello, X Marvel. 
Hi guys, how are you doing? Good morning. Hey there. Good morning. <laughs> Hi there. Yeah, so um, I would like to know um, what platform the project is built with. Yeah, and I would like to know if you have minds of, you know, stuff like that. So I was like, okay, let's get the question bit by bit. So what blockchain are you built with your project? Well, it's uh, pretty much stickered all over the place. We are building on, on uh, Binance Smart Chain, of course as we are already a part of the Binance Kickstarter program and they are uh, 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 accelerating our project currently. Okay, okay, okay that's you, good. So, do you have minds on um, getting into NFTs? You know, at least gamers do slide into NFT business. So do you have minds on, you know, Yes, yeah, for sure. It's uh, it's a great way to to give more uh, back to the community. So uh, we definitely plan to uh, give uh, to the uh, token holders uh, the NFTs. We are not aiming and planning to anyhow uh, charge or raise anything for those NFTs. But uh, again, it will be subject to the token holders based on their tier tiers, and we will be giving. Uh, a whole full set of uh, these to to our uh, token holders. Uh, so uh, we are different. Like let's say we are doing the the opposite ways uh, that uh, NFT projects that went from NFTs to tokens uh, went into the space. Great, thank you so much, Marvel. And yes, NFTs. We haven't really got into that so much. And there's lots of more stuff to unpack with this <laughs> yeah. project. As uh, I mentioned, it's it's super packed. Uh, it's uh, Oli's Oli's done a, a great job uh, of communicating the project outwards. Uh, he's, uh, uh, let's say, the uh, the the lead communicator of, of of everything, and and communicating such complex and and wide solution is not always easy. That's for sure. No, but it's it's very interesting. I mean, uh, if if you want to stay on a little bit more and and tell us something that you think that we should know before we go and check out the pre-sale and uh, yeah, because there's so much to choose from. I think so. I, I'll let you choose to talk about what what you think is most interesting to tell us. For sure, I would uh, give a give a small break to myself i'll give give the word to ollie and then i guess i, I will join but yeah uh, we definitely have uh, have a bit more time no 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 worries uh yeah i'm i'm, I'm happy to hop in with uh, with a couple of closing pieces um i mean as radovan's done a fantastic job of, of uh, answering all your questions and um, outlining um what the billionaire project is already and, and has the potential to go on to be um and and there's there's so many other things that we're looking at too um mentioned there before about um nfts um of course nfts play a huge part in um in blockchain gaming and play to earn gaming web3 gaming um and um as as we know there's you know there's a lot of a lot of games out there where an NFT game character, for example, um, might be um, too expensive for for a gamer to actually purchase. That, that's of course the reason gaming guilds came along when they did. Um, and and in in the way that Radovan mentioned, you know, offering our our platform almost as like a software as a service kind of um, functionality, if you like. Although we're not necessarily no, we're not 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 talking about charging service fees here. Um, but let's say, for example, you know, you've got, um, I mean, I know of a couple of games that the, the NFTs, um, can be in the hundreds, um, bordering on thousand a thousand dollars. Um, and, um, to be able to work with these games, um, and actually offer, uh, gamers that don't necessarily have the funds to, to access these, the opportunity to, through what might be a $1 raffle ticket, might, might be $2, might be $5, who knows, um not only gives you know gamers the opportunity to own something that they can then use to to earn that they they didn't have the opportunity to before um but also the the game the game projects themselves um provides them with um a, a new innovative and fun way to um engage their community raise funds um you know it's a win-win for everyone 
Um, another avenue that can be used would be um, in the launchpad market, for example. It's 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 not, not uncommon for launchpads to um, release NFT initiatives whereby um, a holder um, get, can uh, can have a guaranteed allocation of X amount in, let's say, ten IDOs that they launch on their launchpad. Um, a community this, the size of yours, um, you know, I'm sure you've got quite a few. Uh, savvy investors in here um and to to be able to um hold and own that nft and, and have access to a certain allocation in a certain number of projects um can be very very valuable you know if, if, if basically if you know how to if you know a good project when you see one having a guaranteed allocation in it is you know it's priceless is pushing it but it's got a huge amount of value behind it um and so to, to be able to offer our um, fun, engaging fundraising service to whether it's games, launch pads, whatever kind of project um, can utilize um, what we offer um, as a an alternative um, avenue of yeah fundraising, engaging, um, offering um, products, digital assets to um, to the crypto and wider community. Um, you know, instead of just you know classic airdrop, sign up for a whitelist, complete tasks. You know, entering a raffle, something like that. You know, to to win or earn so, potentially a very very valuable prize. You know, it's 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 a great option. A, a question here: uh, If I if I now buy in the pre-sale and I get uh, X amount of these uh, initial NFTs uh, for the this raffle with the Tesla, are they also mm-hmm. going to last and be be tickets for more than one raffle? Uh, well, in the initial raffles launch, we've got obviously the Tesla launch, we've got the huge Airb prize, we've got all of the phase prizes. Um, I mean, let's say you you ended up with you know two hundred raffle tickets. You could put a few in the Tesla raffle, a few, a few in the Airb raffle. You can choose which oh, ones you, choose. you want to enter. Oh, okay, okay. You can choose which ones you want to enter. Um, whether you can hold those and use them for later raffles, I'll actually let Radovan answer that one because that's not something I've. Um, I, I've, I've been privy to discussions of. So Radovan, uh, were Mary to choose to hold her raffle tickets from her um, pre-sale purchases, um, could they be used in, in, in later raffles as well? For sure. Uh, the only thing that we are limiting is the purchase of additional uh, raffles uh, during when we will be having those, uh, let's say, pre-sale raffles online pretty much. But uh, you can... One thing you can choose to to put your uh, tickets into anything, as you mentioned, you can split it in a multiple ways. You can put a couple of tickets into each of the prize, for example, each of the 12 prizes that we'll have, for example. But as well, you can keep them and you can use them later. Later, uh, if you don't want Tesla and you want uh, Lambo, for example, you can just wait uh, <laughs> for us to, to list that later in the year, you know, so... Um, it's so completely those up, up are to you. NFTs, right? So I could also potentially I could sell them, maybe later on, because only these tickets are yeah, available for, sure. for for these uh, initial uh, raffles, right? Yep, exactly. And yeah. you can't exactly. buy you can't buy them. So if you miss the pre-sale, you miss the raffle. Exactly in the initial phase, yes. Okay, so they could have a value maybe for someone else to buy them then. Mm-hmm, if if there is a platform for that to buy and sell yeah you will be able to, to 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 list those pretty much they are uh, a standard standard minted NFT okay. so you'll be able to to do pretty much anything like an open sea or anything. somewhere yeah. exactly okay cool all right sorry oliver i cut you there so <laughs> <laughs> no, no that's quite all right not a problem at all good question um, well, that's to be fair with with, with explanation. No, that was that was pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, the the, um, the the platform that we built, um, you know, as much as the the core focus is on raffles, and of course, we'll be launching a number of games and continue to do so in the future. Um, there's I, I, the the words that come to me right now are closed mindedness, but that sounds really really negative. But um, like when people think of raffles, they 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 think of purely. Um, buy a ticket, win the prize for the raffle. Uh, but actually, within having a platform like this within the crypto, within the Web three space, um, it actually opens up so many opportunities 
for how we either we can operate our platform or how we can allow other uh, projects to to utilize its functionality to um, engage and invigorate their own communities to create um, you know hype around um, NFT launches things like that you know for example um, a particular game is about to launch a, a, a new valuable NFT um, they, they we could um, you know potentially have uh, raffles for those for those on our on our own platform um, again going back to you know the fact that there's a huge, huge, huge crypto gaming community, um, a large portions of them that, that simply don't have the, the the means to access these NFTs. They could earn these um, um, the in-game earnings, um, yields offered by staking, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and to be able to offer them an opportunity to do that uh, for a much, much, much lower cost, um, it's, it's, like I say, it's win-win for everyone. We get you know new raffles on our platform, the game still gets the the sale or sales of their NFTs. Um, lucky winners get these NFTs for a much lower price, um, and uh, yeah, it's it's just another avenue that we can explore again with the, the launch pads, with IDO allocation, guaranteeing NFTs. Um, there's there's huge scope for for how we can go and develop the way that part of the platform works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. So so what? Uh, um... Long term vision for this product. What if you if you can dream, which I I hope you do, uh, about like three to five years. Where is where is this going? I think we should be by that time pretty much the the biggest community aggregator uh, when it comes to uh, bringing users from Web two to to Web three and uh, pretty much inviting them into into all of the. Uh, colorful communities that are that are in the Web3 currently right now because what we have pretty much uh, in front of us in the, I think, next five to 800 days already when it comes to uh, potential uh, crypto uh, uh, cap, uh, the, the pretty much the total cap of, of what's uh, what will be happening to, to crypto in general. And uh, where this leads us, we'll be seeing a huge inflow of, of new users. And we want to uh, be a huge part of that. So uh, pretty much the simple answer to that is the, is the biggest community and gaming aggregator uh, that's uh, 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 pretty much combining and uh, dividing pretty much anyone on board. Okay, very cool. So uh, once again, I want to go back to the pre-sale where is the pre-sale held so everything will be accessible through through our website uh, tomorrow at 3 p.m uh, universal time uh, uh, the website will be accessible uh, through the standard link billionaire.com and you will be able to join join the pre-sale uh, as you wish just with uh, connecting uh, whatever necessities you want and and uh, purchasing the the rb tokens uh, because one thing that we thought of largely uh, already from the beginning of the year uh, was of course to launch with the help of launch pads we were in touch with uh, uh, many agreed with many already as well but uh, due to the standards lowering i would say and due to the simple state of the of the centralized launch pads at the moment uh, we weren't so so keen when it comes to their uh, programs, uh, users not being kept uh, uh, safe from uh, malicious projects and etc. And we just want to be sure that we are, let's say, in the, in the full charge of of uh, what our users uh, are, let's say, doing when it is connected to our own name and only through our own pre-sale uh, features. I would say we are able to really be true to that, that we are able to have everything as secure as we can and at the same time giving giving the users the same same uh, uh, rules and and options, I would say. Mm-hmm. And where is the launch going to be then after that? So we, of course, will be on, uh, on uh, the central exchanges, but we'll be first listing on BitMart. Uh, we are closing with Kate.io currently as well and just simply due to the kickstart uh, program from uh, Binance. Uh, we have a lot more doors open at the moment with uh, more tier one exchanges. And of course, the final goal after that would be to, to list on Binance for sure. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, but it's not on pancake swap or, or something like that. Just well, of course, straight. We will be, of course, on Uni. That, that's for sure. Uh, we cannot <laughs> go around that. And uh, for for liquidity, it's it's uh, of course definitely something that we uh, need to do. So uh, of course, you will be able to to see us on on pancake on Uni, but. Uh, uh, the the main goal is to to move uh, to to higher tier exchanges uh, centralized for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, All right. good, very good. All right, uh, I don't have any more questions, but I want to maybe I want to hear from from Radek a little bit if he's available. Maybe he has something he, to add now. He texted me. He had some some issues with the mic. Uh, uh, okay. He tried to Wonder. reconnect a couple a couple of times, but uh, not sure. Will happen there, but I uh, will be sure that for the for the next AMA, uh, will be uh, either on one device or he will switch devices for the next time. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Well, it was a pleasure having you here, and I wanted to to ask you what you put on your pizza as well. Do you have pineapple on pizzas or not? <laughs> I was actually <laughs> against that. <laughs> I was actually against pineapple on pizza, uh, just because of the meme, of course. But it's not too long ago I had uh, pineapple on my pizza in uh, Africa uh, last time. Uh, we were in Kenya like three, three months ago. And I actually quite enjoy that. So <laughs> I would say I'm somewhere in the middle right now. What about you, Okay, Wally? so maybe one Pretty more time. Pretty much the same. I don't, I don't mind it, but it wouldn't be my pizza of choice. Um, I, I, I can eat a ham and pineapple every now and again, but um, no, it wouldn't be my first choice. If you're hungry and that's the only available option, you'll eat it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes, <it's good>. yeah. <laughs> that's good. Fair enough. How about you, Mary? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll eat it. <laughs> not, not what I usually put on, but yeah, it's it's all right. I don't. I'm not against it. <laughs> <laughs> Not many ask me that. Open Thank you for this. asking me back. <laughs> All right, <laughs> guys, uh, I'll give you the stage for a closing statement and, and some some additional facts if you want. So, yeah, floor is yours. Uh, after you, Radovan. Thank you. Uh, All right. Well, yeah. Uh, as I mentioned, we are really, really excited. Uh, not even in oh, it's how, how, how much? 25 hours, 26 hours of time. Uh, we are uh, launching the, the pre-sale. Uh, so for anybody interested from what you've heard today, uh, definitely uh, new ones, join our community, learn more and, and uh, definitely take part because uh, we are here to really take over and to and to revolutionize the space so we definitely invite you to join us into into our journey and uh, for everyone interested uh, you'll be able to uh, join the pre-sale tomorrow uh, the the sooner you come the the better for you that's for sure and uh, read through all the all the uh, materials i would say all these done a great job to explain how uh, we will be handling all the raffles all the prizes uh, all the information will be on our website. Uh, if you want to learn more, uh, definitely hit us up in the community group. Uh, our you know, awesome moderators are doing a great job of, of helping you guys to understand uh, everything pretty much when it comes to the project. And we will be definitely looking forward to, to see you in the, in the community. And uh, I will just add to that with, uh, well, thank you very much, Radovan, for your kind words about my uh, my, my writing and my work. Um, just to let you guys know, there will, of course, be um, uh, an announcement going live tomorrow uh, when, when when our pre-sale goes live tomorrow, um, along with an overview and a breakdown of how everything works um, in terms of the giveaway, the phases, all of that kind of stuff. If you check out our Medium, there's two or three articles on there um, that, that touch on things already um if you if you want to get your head get your heads in in there and uh, and see what's coming uh and just finally i will finish as i began one more time please 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 just make sure you are talking to or looking at the real billionaire it's 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 that time when the scam has come out it happens with every project i think we found four new ones pop up today that we've been reporting and getting rid of um so um yeah just uh, just make sure it's us if you're getting involved um, and um, yeah, be secure. And uh, we look forward to any of you participating in, uh, in in the billionaire project. And of course, Mary, thank you very much for having us. 
Great. Thank you so much for coming. And yeah, it has been a pleasure. It has been very interesting. Uh, do your own research, guys. So go ahead and check them out. I will do that. I just joined your Telegram group. I don't know where you're most active <laughs> or where I can have the most answers. Is that Telegram, Discord, or where is your pre preferable place? Both, but uh, Both? Telegram is the most active currently, for sure. Okay, okay. And also follow the billionaire account, the main account. Follow crypto miners and yeah, I I hope to see you again, guys. Maybe after launch sometime to to see what happened mm -hmm. and for sure, and who's for sure. winning the <laughs> the, the test. <laughs> I hope hopefully it will be you, of course. Hopefully it will be me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'll take your <laughs> <Not> picture. <terrific. laughs> All right, thank you All guys. Right. Thank for you so much coming. for having us. Yeah, thank you everyone in the community thank as you. well. Uh, yes, and thanks everyone for joining. Radek, yeah. thank you to to you. I, I know you can't <laughs> answer me, but <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> All right. Have a nice uh, whatever, guys, wherever you are. I don't know. Where are you located anyway? Where is the, the company located? So the core team is currently in Central Europe, but uh, we are spread across uh, Bali, Dubai, Europe. And, and America as well. So uh, we went the truly decentralized way, that's for sure. Okay, very good. Well, have a good one and, and very much good luck with the pre-sale, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I'll try and stop by and see if I can snap some, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <It's> like <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everyone. Okay. Goodbye. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Hey, hey. Goodbye. Bye-bye.